So wait, one of the things I can tell you is that in uh, in the recording of you, once we found Eura and where he was and his place and his uh, he's kind of very much he's there and he's slow and he's old oh. and wizened and I love you know, that he's, voice, man. <laughs> that he, is he's, such he's, a great voice. He's there and um, yeah. He um, once we found that the way how I used to keep in him was um i wore a, a big coat with my hood up um so that in the recording room whenever i was you were i kind of because you were in his I like helmet that. Mm. I, I covered myself up and cut off as much of the world as possible and i dimmed the lights the lights were pretty much off and so i could be quite just me in a in a in a, in a vacuum in a, in a way or just Eura in a, in a vacuum and then when it comes to Shabriri it's like the equivalent of lifting that off and as much bright light as possible and brightness and light and instead of being earthed and connected right. to the ground Shabriri is more ethereal right if Shabriri is who I think Shabriri who I recorded <laughs> No, no. Yeah, that sounds exactly right. That sounds exactly right. It's fascinating the law that they put into this. You know, it's not in your face at all. You've got to go digging, which people love to do, don't they? Yeah. Uh, and it's there, and it's brilliant, isn't it? Because it's there if you want to dig. Dig. And if you don't, yeah. you, you don't have to. Yeah. If you, you know, you want to go on this journey of the tarnished. And... I am your, uh, as you might recall. Hunter of bloody fingers, tarnished, held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots, who stalk their own, who stay the path. You are certain to face more of them. So Just... how was that process? Because, I mean, did, did you let the... Obviously, you didn't let the nerves affect you. The, the performance was brilliant. But how, well, how did you go? So it, start, it started off... Um, oh, and obviously, we, you know, we've all signed these NDAs about discussing things and everything. So, but um, it was a d totally different person. To start with. But there was elements of Eura still there, different name, different artwork, and we kept coming back, and and he kept changing and morphing, and and I've looked, and the original kind of version of him it doesn't exist in the game, so it's definitely a metamorphosis and there were similar there were words being said that this, they were the same so he developed really i mean i was on and off for probably a year and a half for this character oh, and wow. it yeah. developed and tweaked and pushed and shoved and then then you were kind of coming out of it um but just as a side note on that first day with me Zeki, because then covid hits and then we didn't have you know we, we, we were all zooms then um, yep. I, I do a character called the Fire Giant. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I've not found, I've not found him yet. Oh, so yeah. I don't know what's there, but um, the, what was amazing is because I've never done games before. You know, it was suddenly like, okay, right now, imagine so you're being stabbed through the chest with a big sword, and you go, yeah, you're a Fire Giant. I'm like, I'm a what? Fire, a Fire? Is he covered in fire? <laughs> no, yeah, but I'm like, oh, okay, and. And I was just covered in sweat doing all these noises. And I felt it, it is amazing, Dad. It's a kind of, it's kind of soul bear. It's the most weirdly, I mean, I've done, I've done pretty much all, all mediums. It's the most soul bearing medium I've ever worked in, I think. What do you mean because, by that? Well, you've got, um, you're you're in a room. There's people watching you, and somebody suddenly goes to goes to you. Okay, now imagine you rip a limb off and smack somebody with it, and you've <laughs> got to go. Oh, how, okay, is that is that? Uh, ah, what's the first bit? And so you've kind yeah. of just got to you've got to become a kid in a way, mm. and you've got to you've got to imagine yourself suddenly in that world as a giant as this big thing and doing these crazy things so in a way it's the most exposing because you can't hide there's no character you know oh. you're trying to find a character and develop him there and then sorry if i sound like a nobed by the way but no, no. um uh and you've got to 
yeah, you've got to be brave and just kind of put it all out there and not be worried about looking like an idiot and that you're, that potentially you're, um, the, the sound of you ripping your own head off is, a, is, is close to what they're imagining somebody ripping their own head off sounds like. <laughs> so I think, and it's, it's really, right. yeah. Yeah. It, it's, and, and what, what's beautiful about uh, Miyazaki san is that, you know, he'd be up at the window doing it with you. And he, really? he, he, uh, he was helping me and he was doing, I'm going, you know, like suddenly like, um, and you go, okay. And you go, and then you do it. So oh, he was, that's amazing. He was very much, very much involved and, and cared about the delicacy of it and intricacy. It, it's just, yeah, really, really brilliant. That, that first day to be in the room, I think, with him and them was, was, was amazing. Really brilliant. I was you, really lucky, really. You can't write that. You know, you, your first game, Elden Ring, <laughs> like, like you meeting Miyazaki's son and oh, man. I may not have much time. I'm dying to see you, Eleonora. Oh, that's great. So can we hear that voice again? I need to hear this era voice again. A, a little line, because it's just, it's music to my, my ears, favorite, Sean, honestly. My favourite line, his, his line that got, uh, I always used to, to kind of um, link back onto the character to, to get there, to find him. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Uh, uh, was, uh, oh, I feel nervous, no, it's, it's nerve-wracking. Was, um, no, no, when I'm, no one's here. You were, uh, um, so it's really, yeah, it's down, it's down there, and he goes, um, was a, uh, it's my favourite line, which is very, which is him, which is, um, don't let emotions stay up late. Just remember, no kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay up late. Which is, um, don't let emotions stay up late. Ooh, I like that one. And um, that's him. I think that's him. I think that's his character. It's he doesn't give too much away. He doesn't. He's so contained. Even within his armor, he's contained. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. But that's just, yeah. Just go, just remember, always. no kinship with their oh, ilk with remains. Their ilk remains. Their madness yeah. preludes precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. And then doesn't does he say, uh, we'll meet again if if fate permits? Beautiful. Oh, the Beautiful. writing. You got Beautiful. lucky. You got lucky with the writing. That is yeah. phenomenal stuff, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, be on your way. Perhaps we'll meet again if fate permits. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again if fate permits. Uh, what can I say? I can say, um, uh, it won't be an exact line, but, uh, no, 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 anything. Damn, the tarnished. I hope our paths cross again, if fate permits. There you go. Beautiful. There you go. Thank you, mate. I Bring appreciate it. Um, <laughs>